a subscriber asked me if I can do a goby fish lure design. Um, so I look it up. Looks like it's an interesting species. Although we don't have those in our local ponds or lakes. At least I don't usually see them. Looks like they like to stay at the bottom. They use this big pectoral fins as feet or something. It looks like there are some swim bait type of lure. Uh, but here I'm going to make it as a bottom crawler. So the pectoral fins will be the focus of this lure design. And also, as you can see, this pelvic fin is kind of fused into one piece. So I will try to capture that as well. All right. This should be fun. Let's get started. I think the final lure should be about 10 centimeters. Uh, the reference line I put down here is a little bit shorter because when we make it a pipe form, the both ends will extend out a little bit. Uh, so we will end up about 10 centimeters. So we should be good. Here I try to make the head wider than the rest of the body and also make the belly a little bit bigger so it appears to be a fat gopi. Here I try to move the back fin towards the back a little bit so I have room for the hook to come out. I use thin extrude for the spines on the fins and later I use the profile of the fin to cut the excess of the spines. I also use fillet to smooth out the sharp edges. Then basically I apply the same process to all the fins. For the gill plate, I draw the, the outline first and then extrude that from the body surface. And when I extrude, I choose the new body so I can adjust the, the angle before I merge that into the body. And you might have noticed that I run into some problem when I did the extrusion. Uh, this is because the profile I have is bigger than the surface that I'm going to extrude from. I have to go back and modify the profile, the gill plate profile, make it smaller. So everything is inside that surface that I'm going to extrude from. So after that, everything is okay. For the mouth, I make it a little bit bigger than what's in the picture. I think it looks better. For lips, I use pipe tool. Uh, so basically, there are two pieces of uh, 
curved pipes. And I cannot control the what it looks like for the end of the pipes. So they end up to be an awkward shape like this. So I have to come up a way to solve it. So I basically put a sphere there with the same size. So that's kind of cover the uh, weird end point. So here's the thought process for the pectoral fins. Because I don't want to just have two flat pieces that go straight up and down. Instead, I would like to do something like what's in that picture. So the Gobi lure looks like it's crawling on the bottom. To do that, I need to create a curved surface for the fin and then project the outline of the fin to that curved surface. To draw the outline of the fin, also some lines for the spines on the fin. I need another flat surface. So on that, I can draw those features. To create these two surfaces, I use the extrude in the surface space. Now I have those surfaces, I can start making the features on that flat surface first. Here I make the thin 2 millimeters thick, but I think I could make it thinner so it will be more flexible. Now it's time to project the sketches to the curved surface. So uh, I create a new sketch, project to surface, and then select the target surface I need to project to. It doesn't let me select the body, so I have to switch to the to the surface that I drew earlier. Here I can project multiple curves to the surface at once. So as you can see, when I select the blue lines, uh, one by one, the red projected lines start to show up. Now I'm creating the spines on the pectoral fins using the thin extrude feature. Now I'm cutting the pectoral fin using the profile on the flat surface. Here I use the intersect operation. I did not make the spines on the back of the pectoral fin because I think one side should be enough. But I did add something extra on the back.
for the pelvic fin, the idea here is to create a cone shape structure, then shave that structure from the side. Okay, here's the complete goby fish. So this is what I come up with. Uh, usually I would just do two piece mold for injection mold. But because of this large pectoral fin of the goby fish, uh, if I just do two piece left and right, and when I demold, I might break this part. So I have to somehow break the mold in half on one side. Uh, so let's hide the fish first and I can show you. So I created three surfaces as the splitting tool. These three. Two of them are flat and one of them is curved based on the curvature of the pectoral fin. So this is the whole half. The entire mold has 10% infill, but I increase the infill to 20% when it's closer to the fish, hoping that will make the mold stronger and more heat resistant. And welcome to my minimalist workshop. The whole mold assembles pretty well, just like a 3D puzzle. Cooking. A little bit cool. Moment of truth. Not too, not too hard. Pretty easy to open. Overall, I think it turns out pretty well, uh, but in retrospect, I probably will make the fins thinner and also put a hook slot or embed the weighted hook in the mold. What do you guys think? Is this goby too fat, too big, too small, not in proportion? Drop your comments down below.
Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I will see you next time.